coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. FAI kicks off 2024 World Drone Racing Championships. Manta Aircraft secures partner for hybrid V-Stole aircraft. Apario introduces Stratus Power Max. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. FAI kicks off 2024 World Drone Racing Championship. The 2024 Federation Aeronautique International World Drone Racing Championship kicked off in Hangzhou, China. The FAI chose the Aerosports Federation of China, supported by the National Sports Group, to host the 2024 event. Teams arrived on site on October 29th and were able to check in on October 30th. The opening ceremony commenced on October 31st. The 2024 FAI World Drone Racing Championship course was constructed in Hangzhou Shangchen District Sports Center. It features a 600-meter track with 43 gates and 12 L-shaped obstacles. The design took inspiration from local culture, including the Shangting River and the historic Royal Lands. This year's 111 racers traveling from 32 different nations are competing for the overall individual, junior, women, and national team titles. They will race in several heats at speeds upwards of 160 km per hour, around 100 mph, using a first-person view headset to navigate the course. In this sport, the stakes are high and fortunes can change in the blink of an eye. Antonis Papadopoulos, president of the FAI Aero Modeling Commission, said, quote, Ultimately, it all comes down to the pilot's capacity to maintain peak concentration, leverage their skills, and draw upon their experience. After the break, large formation skydiving is bigger in Texas. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows, actually. So ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Large formation skydiving is bigger in Texas. The saying that everything is bigger in Texas applies to formation skydiving as well. A team of 56 jumpers set the state record for a total break sequential jump in August 2024. A TBS jump is when members of a group formation all release their grips, completely separate, then come back together into a new formation. This is performed several times in the same jump to achieve the sequential parts. Larry Henderson of Skydive Spaceland Dallas has been organizing these types of jumps for many years, inviting skydivers from around the state and beyond. Coast Guard Medevac's fishing boat captain 60 miles off Honolulu. The 69-year-old captain of a fishing vessel was medevaced by the U.S. Coast Guard after a call reporting he was experiencing chest pain and shortness of breath. Watchstanders at the Coast Guard Sector Honolulu Command Center received a call from a crew member of the 85-foot vessel Triple Andy. The watchstanders consulted with a flight surgeon who recommended the medevac. An MH-65 Dolphin helicopter and an HC-130 Hercules were dispatched from Air Station Barbers Point, where after the helicopter crew hoisted the captain up to the helicopter. Computers replacing ARTCC meteorologists. 
The FAA is ending its nearly five-decade-long partnership with the National Weather Service by evicting its entire Air Route Traffic Control Center meteorologist staff. Weather forecasting and related accident prevention will now be a completely autonomous job. The agreement's termination will become effective on April 20, 2025. This affects every meteorologist currently working at one of the FAA's 21 ARTCC sites. SpaceX completes 100 launches in 2024. SpaceX completed its 100th launch of 2024 this month, delivering the Starlink 1010 missions cargo of 23 Starlink satellites in two orbit. This was the 11th flight for the Falcon 9 first stage booster. Previous missions included three to the ISS, one with astronauts, and two Cargo Dragon flights. About eight minutes after liftoff, booster B-1080 touched down on the A Shortfall of Gravitas drone ship, representing the 81st booster landing on that drone ship and the 353rd booster landing for SpaceX. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Manta Aircraft Secures Partner for Hybrid v Stoll Aircraft Manta Aircraft has entered into a partnership with Shenyang Aviation Industries Group to develop and certify its hybrid electric vertical short takeoff and landing aircraft in China. The six-seater aircraft, dubbed the ANN Plus, aims to enhance versatility, efficiency, and sustainability in regional air transportation. The ANN Plus utilizes a hybrid propulsion system with four ducted fans to hover and four others for crews. It can sustain flight in VTOL mode for 300 kilometers at a time and 1,000 kilometers in stall configuration through the use of in-flight battery recharging. The average cruise speed is around 250 to 300 kilometers per hour, or 162 knots. The v stole capabilities allow the ANN Plus to operate from remote, unprepared surfaces, making it useful in locations lacking frequent airports or helipads. The company states that China's size requires both, quote, regional and interregional transportation systems, so there's interest in having aircraft which can cover from 150 to 1,000 kilometers, end quote. The nation also has a significant quantity of local distributors, meaning, quote, supply chains are more compact with less waiting time and lower costs. End quote. After these messages, Apario introduces Stratus Power Max. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com. Welcome back. Apario introduces Stratus Power Max. Apario has introduced Stratus Power Max, the latest addition to their TSO certified USB charging products. Designed to provide maximum power and versatility with dual USB C connectors, the device delivers up to 60 watts of charging power. 
This advanced charging solution ensures that pilots and passengers can keep their devices fully charged and ready for use throughout their flights. Chris Garberg, president of Apario Aviation, said, quote, Stratus Power Max is a game changer in in-flight charging solutions. We've listened to our customers' needs for more powerful and versatile charging options, and we've delivered a product that meets those demands with superior performance and ease of installation." End quote. The unit features dual USB-C connectors with each port delivering up to 30 watts of power, 60 watts total, supporting fast charging. With both back and bottom connectors, Stratus Power Max offers a number of flexible installation options. Stratus Power Max also includes multiple safety mechanisms, such as overcurrent, overvoltage, and short circuit protection, ensuring safe and reliable operation. The unit is FAA TSO C71 certified and now includes a 6 foot wire harness with the connector already pinned out for easier installation. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.